<laughs> hey everyone i'm just waiting for molly to allow me in to join her for our co-hosted live together talking all things crystals reiki and how to contact your angels and those on the other side using both of those modalities uh, good morning everyone and thank you for joining us wherever you are at at your part I'll go ahead and accept her request now and we'll get good. Hi! Hi! Good morning! Good morning! How are you? Well, I am feeling all the angelic vibes. I am feeling just so good this morning. How are you? I'm doing good. Of course, I'm like super excited because we get to talk about like two of my most favorite things in the whole world. Well, of course, I love Reiki, but yeah. crystals and then uh angels and just that yeah. energy and that so i'm, I'm excited I yeah think be fun me too and i have to give a huge shout out to molly because molly was the person that really connected me to an angel and i saw its physical manifestation in person after i had a session with her so angels molly just have a a very special place in my heart. So I, I just I have to thank you for giving me that beautiful experience of you know really seeing an angel in person. It was amazing. That that and I I wish I could I wish I could have seen it. That was like the coolest thing because your eyes was like <gasps> it yeah is, yeah um, yeah it, it was amazing. And um, if you guys want to hear the story in detail, it on Molly's episode on our podcast and YouTube, you can, we talk about it on there. Yeah. And by the way, for those of you that have listened or watched that episode with Molly, how much do you freaking love her even more? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, like I said, I was so out of my like comfort zone. I was like, like this little like nervous. <laughs> yeah. I think I went back to like my public speaking days in high school or something like that, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and but you did it. It did not come across like that at all. Yeah. It was. It was. It is the one of the most viewed episodes. Oh the, well, I part. love it, and I. I'm yeah, just, yeah, and I had so much fun with you, and yeah. So I'm so excited. Yeah. All so right. Do, do you want to take the lead? Do you want me to take the lead talking about angels and crystals and Reiki? Or how do you want to yeah, do Yeah, you know, however you want to do it. If you want to talk about a few crystals and then I'll kind of talk about how I work with the crystals and angels yeah. and maybe. Uh-oh, Molly, it looks like I've lost you. Oh, there you are. Am I back? Yeah, you're back. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So if you want to like talk about, yeah. you know, some of the crystals and then I'll kind of interject and then also just talk about ways people can connect. Yeah. So I have, Two. and you know, we'll just, you'll talk to, and then I'll, yeah. yeah. So what I've done is I brought out some of my personal favorite crystals that help to amplify angelic energy do help us to connect, connect on a deeper level. I always like to preface everything that these are just my suggestions and that, um, you know, if you feel called to a certain crystal, then trust in that. So I don't have any rose quartz on the table right now, but rose quartz may call to you to connect to the angelic realm. So I am always a big believer in do what feels right to you. But these are some of like the industry standards for angel connection or like other realm connection, but also some of my personal favorites as well. You're going to see a lot of blue on the table and you're going to see a lot of clears and whites on the table as well. So my first, not going in any particular order here, I love them all. And it's probably not going to show up really well on camera, but this is an angel aura quartz cluster. So, is that like you, what I have? My favorite from yes. you guys that was gifted to me. Yeah, that one's different. That one is more just. So this is clear quartz. Yours is an amethyst. So okay. You're, yeah, yours is an angel aura amethyst. This one's clear quartz. Anything angel aura. Obviously, the name alone lets you know it's going to help you to connect further to the angelic realms. My second, and you guys can go ahead and make a list. And if you guys have questions about these crystals and maybe how to use them to connect further, we can go into detail about that. But I'm just going to run down the list real fast. Yes. Yeah. So this one, I actually have a mala that was made for me. 
and it incorporates angel light. And angel light is that beautiful, just soothing color blue that you're seeing there. And this is my connect to the angels mala. So when I am wanting to talk to angels or connect with them further, I put this on or I hold it in my hand during meditation. And I absolutely love the energy of angelite. It's very calm. So where clear quartz and things like selenite are like super high vibrational, like yeah, angelite is yeah. just really calming and soothing and it just feels yummy inside. The third one I want to go over is one you guys may have not seen before or may not be familiar with. This is called angel wing quartz. And I wish Gosh, I could get you know, like a and yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of that. And what's so funny, I've heard of angelite. I don't have any angelite. Isn't that crazy? Some of these ones that I need, such as last time, Tiger's Eye, which I definitely need for my Leo fire <laughs> energy. And angelite, I, you know, and I don't know, I usually go for like the bigger ones. And maybe can you usually only find angelite like smaller or do they come? Well, angelite comes in rough, raw form, but it also comes in polished form. And typically you're going to see it more in polished. Okay. Yeah. And doesn't, I'm not going to say it doesn't come in really big crystals, but the majority of angelite is going to be smaller in okay. scale. Yeah. 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 That's probably why, because you know me, I'm like, you like the big things like I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is called angel wing quartz. This is a form of gray amphibole and amphibole creates these wispy wing light, what, excuse me, wing like inclusions in the quartz and I'm not sure if it's showing up well on camera or not yeah I can see it yeah um but this is another this is a more high vibrational type of crystal to use to contact angels in the other realms what was the, that one called again I'm actually going to write that down for me yeah <laughs> it's, so the trade name like the street name yeah is called <laughs> angel wing quartz angel wing quartz yes okay. that's and gorgeous and then like the technical name, it would be called an amphibole quartz. And it's A-M-P-H-I-B-O-L-E, amphibole quartz. And um, once you see these like in person, you get why it gets the name. It literally looks like there's angel wings on the inside. It, it, it's an incredible crystal. The next one I want to go over is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I love Skull Sight. This is it in its raw, natural form. It's in a spray here. But we were lucky enough to get it because it's it's pretty fragile, right? Yeah. So we were lucky enough to get some in hearts and palms. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So I have that actually polished down um, in a heart or a palm. So great to use during meditation. Great to carry along with you for that angelic energy and to help you connect further. And can I just say, that's what I love about you is that like, I mean, oh, I, I feel like I know, you know, I, I love crystals. I, I know a lot about crystals, but every time that you're on, I always, and, and we're talking, you know, these are ones that I've never, I don't have in my collection where of course now I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got to get these. But you always have like, I feel like the most unique and beautiful, I don't know, I've, I've never, and that's another one I, I don't well, have. Um, that means a lot to me because I really make it a point to carry something for everyone. So whether it's like an avid crystal collector, they just love crystals, they love geology, or they love the metaphysical properties of crystals. Yeah. And I always try to carry it in forms where you can use it or you can display it. So thank you for saying that. That, that literally means so much to me. My goodness. So skull size. For those that want to know how to spell it, it is S C O L E Skull Sight C I T E. And I just by chance, I do have just a couple of these available on the website if anyone feels called to this. Um, my next one, oh my gosh, we got to talk about Celestite, baby. We yes. got to talk about Celestite. Also known as Celestine, an icy blue crystal. I actually keep this one by my bedside. I, I love its energy. It's, again, kind of like angelite where it's very calming and soothing. It's not as punchy or as energetic as, say, clear quartz is or a skull sight is. So a more gentle way to connect to the angelic realms. Celestite or Celestine. Love, love, love this crystal. 
I and have then to show you, I have to show yeah. you, mine, Dana, that was, um, where did I put her? Oh, Please. I put her over here. I, 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 I brought it in from, cause I have crystals obviously at my house and this one I keep in my bedroom, but it was gifted to me, um, from a really special friend. Actually, she's more like my mentor. But oh, I love that. And this. Brittany, Brittany, um, I'm just responding to Brittany on my end. Um, perfect 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 crystals for your daughter in that situation she said my daughter had her high school entrance exam test I had put a piece of green aventurine and tiger's eye um, for her so I just wanted to confirm yes. and affirm for that 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 is a, such a perfect combination for what she's going through right now I love you okay go ahead sorry Molly well this I just it was more just showing but this is oh my, yes honey. yes um, oh my God. And so this is like so special to me. It was given Beautiful. to me, like I said, by one of my, uh, really good friends and, uh, but I Ooh. keep it at home, but now I'm like, oh, maybe I need to bring it to the office. I normally have this in my bedroom, yeah. but I, it, I just, it's so magical. It's so oh. beautiful. It's what a yeah. gorgeous piece of celestite. And I mean, you can tell the energy and celestite. Obviously, it gets its name for the celestial type of energy it has being kind of like from the other realms, outer yeah. space, the other dimensions. And it literally will feel like that to you in a calm way. Yours is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I just got chills. Ooh. All right. I got to put in my favorite amethyst. Amethyst is all about the third eye and the crown chakra. So we think about when we connect to the other realms, we definitely want a little bit of third eye and crown energy opening up, being a little bit active. And amethyst is always one of those crystals that just does it for me. So I always like to include this in when connecting with other realms. So you're going to see that a lot of these crystals are crown chakra oriented, but also throat chakra oriented. Mm -hmm. And why is that? The throat chakra is all about communication. So when we are ready to openly communicate with whether it be a person or another entity, another energy, we definitely want to incorporate the um, throat chakra to be able to communicate. So you're going to see a lot of blues in here as well, such as trollite or also known as trolleyite. Just kind of like tomato, tomato, however mm -hmm. you want to pronounce it. This is called the spiritual stone. So we think about another one. See, I don't know. This is another <laughs> there one I you need go. To see every time. Okay. Say that. Say this one again for me. Okay, Troll, so I'm, I'm going to spell it for you. Okay. It's T R O uh -huh. L L Trolly E I T E Trollyite. Yes. Or Trollite, as some mm -hmm. people would call it. Um, it's a combination of three different crystals and minerals together. And this one helps to aid in your spirituality, your connection to spirit, and progressing that along. So this is always one um, that I incorporate in any time I communicate with the other side, Trolleyite. And then I have, this might be a new one to some people, it may not be. This is a cluster of Damborite. Yeah, another, another new one, yep. Yep. Okay, so this is usually like an icy pink color. It can be clear on occasion. Mine is pink, but it's getting washed out a little bit on camera here with the lighting. But this is called Danborite. And it is it is considered one of the angelic stones or the angelic oh. crystals. And I keep one of these on my altar. And then I keep another one um, for me to pick up and use as well. But I keep one on my altar to actually honor the angels and the guides that I yeah. work with. And um, this is a super high vibrational crystal, kind of works the same way as quartz does. It really does not need to be cleansed. It cleanses itself just like selenite and quartz does, and it stays high vibrational. So another great one to have in your collection if you are wanting to connect. The um, second, or second, I'm not on the second crystal, Dana. <laughs> You're on like the, I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the eighth <laughs> one or something at this yeah. point. You guys, you know, I got to throw in clear quartz, right? Clear quartz does it all. It's the master healer. And it's the one that is so easily programmable and chargeable with your intentions. So I'm all about setting your intention with your crystal. So I always have clear quartz. Again, anytime I'm connecting. Anytime I want to receive messages, anytime I want clarity, let's say from my angels, I need help yes. on something. Angels, come mm -hmm. help me. Give me clarity. I have clear quartz. Now you can see I have clear quartz in the form of an angel. 
So I do want to talk about that for a minute because yeah. the, the shape does matter. So if you really are wanting to honor your angels, which by the way, they love that angels, spirit guides, they love to be acknowledged. They love the thankfulness and the gratitude we have for them. This is a great way to honor them on an altar or just in your space somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I do have a clear quartz angels for my angels. And then last, but absolutely, certainly not least, we're not going in any particular order here, is one of your favorites, Molly, is Selenite. Yes. So named after the moon goddess, Selene, Mother Moon, Grandmother Moon, um, all about celestial vibes, all about high vibrations, all about spirituality. And again, helping us to clear the path mm -hmm. to connect to the other side. So those are my top crystals for angelic connection, but also just for connecting to the other realms as well. Yes, I, I have to say, of course, um, selenite is my go-to. And I do, I just, I feel, I just, I feel that energy. It's so pure. It's so high vibrational. And I always say, um, I just feel like it, it does. It brings like light into your body. It, it, yeah. it, it truly, it's almost bringing that like pure energy, helping just to kind of clear and in, in a powerful, but very gentle way, I feel, you know, so and Brittany, I just want to, you know, acknowledge your comments there. I love you. And you, yes, you are growing, girl, with your crystal collection. I'm so proud of you in the ways that you are being specific with how you're, you know, choosing the crystals that are calling to you and then using them in your magical life. I just want to acknowledge her for that. And I don't you think, Dana, so like we can talk about you know, the ones that um, hold that vibration or the property, right? That people say, oh, yeah. you should get this, you know, or yes. use this. But ultimately, um, and I know, I'm sure you feel the same way. It is really what you are drawn to. It is really what it is that, of course, you know, um, and, and using that intuition. I mean, just totally. like we're talking to, um, yeah, Brittany about it. it's really yeah. just understanding and maybe for whatever you're using for that day and you're asking you know the angels to kind of come in and help maybe they're guiding you hey use this crystal today you're needing yeah. this energy you're needing you know to be grounded so really kind of almost listening to your intuition and allowing them to kind of help you to choose what it is that you need I don't know. I love that too. Well, I love that you said that because I 100% agree. Just because I'm suggesting these crystals don't mean that they're going to be the one that you feel called, you mm -hmm. know, to work your practice, work in, to work within your practice. Mm -hmm. So it really is all about a feeling. And I will be the first to tell you, you are the power, you are the magic. You are only limited by your own beliefs. So whatever you're feeling and whatever you're believing in your soul or what you're guided to, trust that. So yeah. for some people, connection is labradorite. You know, yes. they, they yeah. want labradorite. That's their one crystal that they feel drawn to for that purpose. Now, while it's not in my set here, it doesn't mean that I might not for one day go pick it up to connect to my angels or my guides. I might just feel right. really drawn to it that day. And I trust that. And mm -hmm. I will be the first to empower you and not limit you to what you are choosing for your metaphysical toolbox. So if you are like, Dana, I, I appreciate all of these. Molly, I appreciate everything you're saying, but I really like optical calcite. Like I'm feeling optical calcite today to connect mm -hmm. with angels and guides. By all means, that is your crystal you're supposed to be using. And I love the fact that you touched on that intuition, like that hit, that download that you're getting could very well be your own actual angel telling yeah. you this is what we prefer this is how yes. we like to connect with you oh i just got chills thank you yes thank well you. and i love that because it is like you know people will say how do i connect how do i hear them how do i and you know it is um it's not a lot of times this like it is that quiet inner knowing that inner yes. voice and it's learning to really trust yourself and get yeah. to know yourself. And so when you have that gut feeling about something, or when you have that, you know, you're going like for me reaching for like the caramel candies in the middle, you know, like before I go to bed, they're like, yeah, 
maybe you don't want to do that, you know? And, and it's like, you know, it's, it's a subtle, it's a Which was subtle, me last night, by the way. Oh, me too. Yeah. The chocolate, the uh, chocolate covered caramels with the sea salt. Yeah. No, I ate yes. like three, stuffed them in my mouth and then went to bed. I'm not kidding. Oh, I, <laughs> I literally did that. <laughs> I literally sat in bed with Ugh. a bowl of cereal, which I never freaking <laughs> eat ever. And I knew like my, okay. My ego was telling me you want this, mm -hmm. but my soul was like, you don't need this girlfriend, yeah. but my ego went out. You know, yeah. I didn't listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and like, even, um, you know, I even think like crystals that help to kind of calm um the chatter in your mind i always yes. say calm the chatter in your mind yes. so then you can really like hear your higher self or your angels and it truly is just that and it's trusting in that and knowing that um yeah so i i 100 agree we're always on the same wavelength and thought you know with how <laughs> we work our magic someone just said i'm watching and they're eating chocolate in bed, I think. That's <laughs> what so they're saying. <laughs> Honey, you ooh, are my ooh, Hey, you're in the right place. You are Sometimes my people. Sometimes it's like Nutella. I'm just like, it's bad. <laughs> Brittany, Brittany over here said, chocolate always speaks to me. That is my main crystal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to talk to like how angels speak to us, but we may not be listening. This is something I've learned along just doing this for years now and being aware. Mm -hmm. So our awareness is definitely key. And angels love, and, and you can tell your side of the story too, Molly. Angels yeah. love to give us signs. Yes. And angels, to, this is how angels feel to me. And this is just my inner knowing of angels, but also what I've kind of learned that resonated with me. Kyle Gray is like the angel expert, right? Yes. And a lot of what Kyle Gray teaches and talks about resonates with me. So I find it to be truthful to my soul. Mm -hmm. And he says that angels are basically the messengers of God and they are pure love and light. Okay. So it is, it's, it's an energy. Mm -hmm. It's an essence of creator of God being sent to us to deliver messages to us, to protect us along the way, to walk with us along this life. And I find that very comforting. It's like, you know, we're never alone. We always have some type of energy on the other side with us always, but it is up to us to be aware of that energy and when they're coming through for us. And the way that angels come through for me are always angel numbers. So you see, 1111, 11, you see 444. Mm -hmm. And that to me is always a sign that I'm on the correct path, that I'm in alignment. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing at that time. Everything is taken care of. But it's also a sign to me that I'm not alone. Like they're here walking with me. And so when that happens, I always take a minute and I just smile and I'm like I laugh. And I'm like, thank you. You know, thank you so much for being a part of my day. Thank you so much for being a part of my life. Thank you for parting the clouds today so I could see the sun. They literally feed off that gratitude that we give them because they are so high vibrational. They are at that vibration of gratitude. So when we when we raise our vibration to match that, they're going to keep giving us more signs. Yes. And I find that just very comforting. Angels yeah. also come to me in sparks of light. Oh, I love that. Yeah, or flecks of light. So it's it's those lights that look like little uh, flickers or little sparkles, and they catch your eye, or they run across the room. And to me, that's always angelic energy that just is kind of letting me know, hey, we're here, you know, we're with you. And I always see them, and I see them literally every night now. I'm so aware of it now, yeah. and I'm so appreciative of them now, especially after seeing you, Molly, after that session. Oh, I just got chills. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, okay, thank you, confirmation. Thank you. <laughs> like, I'm full of energy. It, it feels amazing. You you guys probably think I'm weird, but no. I, I, <laughs> no, they don't. They, <laughs> that, 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 no. <laughs> but but what? I'm, that's them confirming, yes, we're yes. here. So I also feel it in the form of chills and energy running through my body, especially when I'm talking about them. That's how angels like to present themselves to me. I also find feathers. So if I'm just outside walking, taking my daily walk, or just letting Scarlett out to do her business, 
I might just happen to come across a feather. And to me, that is a gift from spirit, from creator as a messenger via the angels to me to let the, to let me know, hey, you're not walking this path alone. We're here with you. And I always take that moment and say, thank you so much for this gift. And the more that I do that and the more that I practice that, the more that they keep coming, the yes. more signs I keep getting. And it's just it's a beautiful way to experience God like creator energy. 100 yeah. percent. And, and I think that it is, you know, it's like the, the first step to, you know, if you're wanting to connect with the angelic realm, our guardian angels is, um, you know, they they respect our divine, you know, will. So yes. it's like we have to ask permission. So literally yes. the very if you're going to do anything to first connect is, is give them permission and say, you know, I, I want you to come in, you know, I want you to help me. I ask, you know, that you be present and, um, you know, and that's that because, and that's so beautiful because they do respect, um, what we're doing. Um, they do. but if we ask for their help, they will, um, they will show up. And I, and, and it's a lot easier, I think, um, you know, feeling um and seeing before the actual hearing you know the loud yeah. because a lot yeah, of the, the it is that yeah. quiet um our own inner self right yeah. but yeah like the chills the goosebumps um the ring for me the ear is another one yes um that high pitched mm -hmm. ringing in the ears um for me too the numbers um they show up uh, and I send it now. It's kind of like a thing within my family when I'm driving license plates. So it'll be two, 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 oh, yeah. one, yeah. one, one, four, four, four. And I'm always like, thank you. Yes. That's how. So, uh, in license plates, that's I kind love of that. Um, I'm big on signs. I'm really yes. big on signs. So like when I need guidance or confirmation on something in my life, I always ask my guides and my angels, give me a sign. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes I get really specific with them. I'm like, mm -hmm. I want to see a pink flamingo on a balloon. Like that's freaking <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Yeah. But I might just be flipping through my phone. And for whatever reason, a pink flamingo on a balloon shows up. What are the chances of that? It's no coincidence. So I do receive signs, mm -hmm. but we have to be open to do that. And we have to ask, just like you said, they do respect our free will. Yeah. They do. Yeah. So until you actually start trying to form a relationship and being more aware of them and asking them, they might show up, but it's not necessarily going to be a strong, you know, until you start establishing that relationship with them. 100%. And I, I truly believe it's like, yes, Brittany, when you think of angels and when you think, it's like, it is that coming from that place, like you said, of gratitude, but yeah. of a child, like there is nothing, you know, who are, who's probably the angelic realm going to be around children, children. animals, animals. Nature. And why it's because yeah. they vibrate at such a pure, yes. you know, yes. place and, um, and fun. And it's like, it, you, yeah. it doesn't have to be all, you know, it can be like in laughter and joy. They yeah. want to be around that high vibrational, um, energy, but it's not to say it's like when I'm feeling sad, when I am down, when I am in my darkest moments, it's not that they are there. If I, you know, they're there to, um, help lift me up. And, um, yeah. And it's, and it's always like, we go to prayer too. Mm -hmm. Like we go to prayer, like when we're in our darkest hour, it's our last result, our last resort. Mm -hmm. And we start asking then, but it has been presented to me that we need to do this every day with them, especially mm -hmm. like you're wanting to conjure that relationship. Yeah. Right. You and it's, it's even conjure. like, you can just say, um, you know, I ask, you know, my guardian angels, I ask my angels to just remind me of your presence, you know, the, yes. send me and, and, and help me know that you are there. So then when you're receiving that, it's, it's uh, yeah. whether it's a feather or a cardinal yeah. or a certain flower or a penny, all those can seem very insignificant and people will be like, Oh, I don't know. I saw that, but, but it, right. it truly is. Um, There's no that coincidences. Is their way. Yeah. And yeah. it's not like there, it's going to be a, this loud, like, Hey, here I am. Whoop, whoop, you know? Right. And they it's not like people. Yeah. It's not like they're going to come and be like a person, you <laughs> yeah. know, 
we, we think, I think like a lot of us have ingrained in our brain that they have, they look like a person with wings, Mm -hmm. you know, and we think that's how we're supposed to see them. That's not how they vibrate, Mm -hmm. honey. They vibrate on a level that's not in our dimension. So we always try to put a label or make it look really pretty how they're supposed to look. But it's more for me in any way, it's more of a feeling that they're Mm -hmm. here and they they're light, they're pure light. So when you see those little flickers of light, when you see those little sparkles, you see those little flashes, more than likely you're being visited by an angel. Yeah. And and I think through music, too. So, oh, um, yeah, you know, through songs, through music, there's also messages. So if you're going through like a difficult time, if you're having a really hard day or if there's just something or maybe you're thinking about someone um, who you love that has passed and um, you're sitting there and a song. Oh, I'm getting chills all. Oh, my God. I just Um, got a smell of flowers. (laughs) Like, what is that? Thank you. Thank Um, you for that. It's, it's kind of like they're, they're letting you know that they're there and it's, yeah. it's that memory. And so it's, yeah. it's all of those. And I think too, it's believing in that coming from that childlike essence where children still believe they, they, they have a knowing they, they are still connected. And so um, it's being open um, and, and it's asking and it's, it's, yeah, inviting them in and, and they're and they're there to help and in any aspect. Um do you personally have any tips for contacting angels? Um, you know, like I said, the first step um would be asking and just yeah. saying, I want you to come into my life. I, I need your help. Um and for me, I you know, like I always I Archangel Michael is someone that is very, you know, I, I work with Archangel I work with a lot of angels. Um, Archangel Michael is, is one that I always ask for protection and for yeah. help and for um, strength. And so, yeah, if I'm getting ready to go out or like do any type of energy work, I always ask him to come in and first clear my energy of anything that I might have picked up any, you know, yeah. just like gunk or emotional things so that my energy is nice and clear. So I first ask him, you know, please come in and clear um, any, you know, negative energy or any energetic cords that are not mine, send them to the light so that I'm, you know, a pure vessel. And then I ask for his protection. So I'll ask him just to kind of protect me in a golden light. For me, it's a golden energy. It's a golden yeah. light kind of pouring me down, shielding my energy. And um, yeah, so helping me just to ground ask. in that. It's simply ask. Yeah. And honestly, the practice I feel is going to be um with that individual, because what works for me may not work for you, but it's True. it's that visualization, it's that connection. Um, sound frequency is to me huge. So it's even crazy. raising, like I have the, um, like for instance, this one, which is, um, oh yes, they, yeah, it, it helps to. Um, they say bridge heaven and earth. It's a very high vibrational energy. Um, love that oh my gosh yeah and bringing that energy into your home and like you said bringing the crystals into your home bringing making a sacred space and having that and uh you know whether it's you know the angel the clear quartz angel and different essence like rose and lavender there's so yeah. many i mean i there's so many different ways it's yeah it's um yeah i mean my top way is just to ask yeah like, the, the moment you plant the seed the moment you make a decision that you now want to connect to a higher frequency, a higher energy, an extension of source, right? Yes. That's it. Mm-hmm. Everything will then be put into place for all of those magical things to then start happening. It is now up to us to be aware when something happens, when they give us a gift or a sign, yeah. and then two, to... to be appreciative, like to give that gratitude yeah. back to him. Yeah. Thank you so much for the sign. Thank you so much for this gift. Thank you so much for coming and blessing me today. Thank you for always being here. Like I start my day off, like when I um, get into meditation to start my day, I always do like a little ritual or ceremony mm-hmm. beforehand. And I always call in my angels, my archangels, my guides, my spirit guides. But I don't just invoke and call them in. I'm also being very thankful and grateful 
that you guys are here holding me. You, you all are always here. And I'm so thankful and grateful for this sacred time and sacred space with you. And I have found that when we get in that gratitude state, you know, that vibration, right? right. Super high vibration, the highest you can be. Yes. You will feel more connected. You will start to get more inspiration. You will start to channel. You will start to get more downloads and they will come to you more often. I am proof positive that this can happen. And I am proof positive because it happened with you, Molly. Mm -hmm. I, you, when you did that session on me, that Reiki session, healing session, mm -hmm. I was vibrating so high after that. Oh, I got chills. I had no other way to exist than to be completely connected, like to love source energy. Yeah. And I saw it, I was able to see it manifest in person. It was just for a little bit, you know, it wasn't there, yeah. forever, but it was enough to let me know that what I had connected to what you had assisted in connecting me to was real. And what I was feeling and what I was experiencing was 100% source creator energy an extension of that in the form of an angelic being well and I, I, experience of my life one of well i appreciate that yeah. and um yeah and i and i want to like talk about that because when i connect or when i'm working with someone or when i'm yeah. on a body and a lot of times when i feel that energy and i'm really connecting into that angelic energy oh gosh, I might get emotional. It honestly, and sometimes even on my lives, I'll do it. Um, the, the energy and the emotion, it feels, um, it is pure unconditional love, but sometimes it brings me, I get emotional myself because it's right. almost this overwhelming sense of um, beauty. And yeah, and um, that's I can't, that's yeah it, it's more crying. a feeling. Um, do you remember me crying when I saw it and it was, yeah. just, it was so beautiful. I wasn't scared. I wasn't sad. I wasn't anything. I, it was just so freaking beautiful. I was having this emotional release experiencing it. Yeah. I get it. And, and it is, it's, it, you can't really put it into words. Sometimes it is no. just this. Um, and, and I think what I love about it though, when you're talking is that I truly believe when we connect with our, the angelic realm, when we connect with the angels, all they're doing is reflecting our own inner beauty mm -hmm. to be back yep. to ourselves. And they're really honestly just saying, this is you, you know, yep. we, we, this is actually a reflection of you. And they're helping to remind us of our own That's inner strength, oh our own beauty. And I, I want to say too, I think that sometimes feel like maybe they don't know that they're intentionally do, doing this, but it's like, oh, I'm not worthy of this or this energy, or they have more important things to do, or they need to. And that's, that's, that's simply not true. It's, they yeah. can be, you know, their energy. So they can be with multiple, it sounds, you know, multiple people in multiple places. And they they're, can literally, yeah. I, I say, Archangel Michael, stay with me day and night, you know, guiding me, guarding me, protecting me of all things seen and unseen. And I ask that, um, because he can do that. And so I just want people to know that, like, I, I think that's the thing, you know, that you are worthy of that, that you're not taking away from anything else, that they are pure energy, that they are pure love. And all they are is honestly a reflection of your own true yeah, heart, soul, being. It's like um, they, it's a remembering in yourself. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. Just, and, and yeah, I mean, it's just, I love that. I, I love how you explain that because it truly is. This is always you. You are just an, an extension mm -hmm. of creator. Right. And yeah. And don't you think um, Dana, like the signs, you know, cause they have to show us because we're human, you know, where it's like, yeah. and then sometimes I'm sure they're like, Oh my gosh, Molly, are oh, you not yeah. listening? You know, like, yeah. But like, that it's like, well, why can't I hear them? And it's like, well, honestly, it's one of those things. If you have been denying, like not, not listening to yourself or just being dismissive to yourself for so long, I think that it's harder. I think it's, it's learning to trust yourself again, to know that when you get that thought, like, uh, I don't know that I should go there, you know, or, Oh, I, it's, it's really learning to tap in to that your higher self because that's how that's how they come in honestly yes. so it, it you have to trust you yes. have to get to love yourself 
to know that you're worthy and to trust yourself to really hear. So sometimes it's those outside signs that are easier at first. You know? like, exactly. And like the chills. How, and yeah, that is how they love to talk to us because that's when we typically respond. Yeah. You know, we're like, oh, oh, okay. Oh my yeah. gosh. You know, yeah. I just heard something. I just, you know, whatever it may be. Yes. But that's how they grab our attention. Yeah. And then it's up to us. What do we do with that? Right. How do we keep that relationship alive on a regular basis? And it's just like what Molly said. She calls in Archangel Michael every day. Yeah. So it's a practice. You know, the, yeah. this, this is, again, not just something we call upon them as a last resort. Mm-hmm. You know, it's what we typically go to. It's about conjuring that relationship on a daily basis in our normal everyday practice. But it's not something that's going to take an abundant amount of time. Mm-hmm. We can just simply sit still thank you angels for being with me today. Guide me, direct me, give me the signs I need to see, you know, whatever your mantra, whatever your prayer is for them. Yeah. But it's literally as simple as that. And the more that you do it, the more you will start to, to see things happen, feel things happen, hear things happen, whatever your, you know, best players are. And then with crystals, they just help to amplify that energy. Yes. They help to amplify your intention. So when angels or beings on the other side, entities, energies on the other side, I like um, Archangel Metatron. Mm-hmm. Me and Metatron are like bros. Okay. okay. And really fast with yeah. that, Trina. I think this is also really important because I think it's really interesting. Okay. So I call in like before my, I, I have a team of angels, right? And I have them play. Yeah. I think I call them in. And there are some that it's like, I can feel better. I can feel their energy better. It's almost like I, I work with all of them, but it's almost like, it's almost like personalities or like you're totally. friends and you just totally. kind of like vibe better or like you connect. So I love that, that like yours yeah. is Metatron and I love Metatron, but I'll tell you, I have a harder time. He's not like, I always call him in, but So it's also, like you said, calling, getting to know them and knowing who you vibrate with more. Yes. And and that is essential. And the way Kyle Gray explained it, which I love because he, he said it is to his understanding being working with angels for so long and being amazing. He's amazing guys. Um, That angels come in forms of archangels, Mm -hmm. but they also can come in forms of past loved ones mm-hmm. that now vibrate so high they they like left this realm in their their own truth like they were super high vibrational when they left and that's usually in the form of children or in the form of animals mm-hmm. that they can then become your angel on the other side so when we think of like our past loved ones you know they pass and we say oh i've gained an angel you very well could have Mm-hmm. And they don't have to be like these supreme beings of archangels. They can literally be, I think a lot of my pets are now my angels. I know they are. I don't think they are. I know they are. They visited me in that way. Um, and I find that very comforting. But it's like we, as like humans, we want to put like a label on everything because it makes it look really pretty. And it mm-hmm. makes us like our analytical brains, it makes it make more sense. Right. And I I think it just to be open to you can have a supreme being, an archangel working with you, but you can also have these other versions of angels or or what we would label as an angel working with you. And it is all about finding the one that is connected to you. So like, you know, Molly said, she she calls in Metatron, but she doesn't feel like super connected to Metatron. Mm-hmm. I do. Like mm-hmm. Metatron is the only one that right now I feel like super connected to. Like that That's is my Met- go-to. And you and, know, that makes, cause you love crystals. You love the geometric shapes yeah. and patterns and that's what he's all about. And so he's, and, and I can well, see that with you, your, your crystal grids, all okay. of that. Yes. See? I yes. Am, like, I'm so happy you said that because I want to touch on this. Mm-hmm. Think of, you know, I love sacred geometry. So yes. like Metatron is like the ultimate form of sacred geometry for me. I just think it's beautiful. Right. Yeah. So in sacred geometry, sacred geometry is an energy. 
-hmm. And it's like the building block of the entire universe, everything that is living and breathing, like everything is based on these either simple forms of sacred geometry to the more intricate. Mm -hmm. And all, in all sacred geometry, there is, what is there? There's angles mm -hmm. and there's arcs, mm -hmm. arc goals and, you know, things of that nature. Put that together, archangel. <laughs> yeah. like, like archangel. Yeah, archangel. yeah. So yes. it is, has been presented to me that archangel energy is sacred geometry in the mm -hmm. form of a being. Yes. Mm -hmm. I get chills every time I say that and every time yeah. I think about that. Because it literally is the initial energy that's coming from creator, from source, from mm -hmm. God, however you like to label that. Mm -hmm. It is now an extension that is being presented to us on this 3D earth plane for us to feel or for us to see. There's little, literally arc and angles in everything. It's the mm -hmm. building blocks of everything, of creation. And that energy... That supreme energy that all of these archangels are based on is sacred geometry. Yes. I can get real woo-woo about this. <laughs> yeah. But, but I, it, it I, is. I, it's, it's in everything. I mean, yeah. even the sunflower, like the, yes. the there's, it, it's, it's the, yeah. you know, the, the, the tree of life, the different, I mean, there's Metatron's cute. It, it's, it's, it's so, it's everything. fascinating. And, and you think about, well, we're an extension of creator, but these, higher vibrational multi-dimensional beings known as archangels we're just an extension of them too mm -hmm. and it's hard for our brain to really grasp that i think it was for me anyway because i tend to be a little bit analytical now that i've gotten through my shamanic practice i think that's why you like me and i'm not you know i'm not analytical you know i'm like Woo, yeah you it's know, so like this, true like, creative like you know yes. so, yeah so that's probably why i had like I know, you know, yeah, <laughs> it's so true. Well, I'm, I'm practicing and learning to be less analytical and what, let's see, I lost my train of thought. So, Sorry. No, 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 no. It's fine. So, okay. Everything is an extension of creator. Yes. And it's, I, so I, I asked my mentor, I was like, how am I an extension of an archangel mm -hmm. or of creator when it feels when we've been separated by this hierarchy, mm -hmm. right? Because we think of God, then mm -hmm. archangels, then angels, then, you know, mm -hmm. we go down the list. Yeah. She finally gave me my aha moment that it's all just existing at the same time. And we have a little bit of that essence in us at all times of all things. We're mm -hmm. so interconnected. We don't realize it. And until we can open up our minds and expand enough to understand that and to grasp that I feel like that's when spiritual awakens happen is when we know that we're interconnected and we are literally we're an extension of that archangel yes we can call upon them but we always have a little bit of their essence in us it's just a remembering yeah it's a reflection it is it's, yeah they are literally reflecting our beauty our light at the purest our instead of being in this you know, human form body and all the emotions yes. and everything that's happened yes. to us. It's, it's truly helping us to remember the we're not separate. Yeah. That we're, that, that, that we're not separate. And, and someone that I think is really interesting when I started my journey, um, and I don't know if I'm going to say her name, right. It's, it's Lorna, um, uh, Lorna Byron, Lorna Byron. And she started seeing angels at a very young age and she tells her story and, um, she also talks about, you know, of course, we all have, you know, we're talking about the archangels, but, you know, the, I believe that we're, when we're born, we have a guardian angel that stays with us as well, you know, just that is around us, that is always there, that will be with us when we're born, and also when we leave, you know, this earth. But she talks about how there are all of these helper angels, literally, they're like on standby waiting. They're yeah. like waiting for somebody to say, and she's like, it doesn't, it could be like, I need help passing a test. I need yeah. help. Um, I don't care what it is. And by being specific and asking them to come in, yeah. it's like, they're just, they're just, they're just waiting. So, um, yeah, and, and I love how you said like, animals too. Yeah, you're not like imposing on them either. No. Like they're multi-dimensional guys. They are at a frequency that we 
in a human form, it's hard for us to understand. Mm -hmm. They can literally be a gazillion different places at once helping someone. So you're not imposing on your angels to ask for help. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's literally just starting that relationship like you would with any friend, like you would getting to know anything. It's, it's just inviting. It's, it's, it's asking, it's, um, developing that relationship, that friendship, that love connection. I mean, it it truly is. And 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 just showing like you're putting in the effort because once you show up for spirit, spirit will show up for you. You know, this is a, it's a cohesive relationship. So there has to be a fair energetic exchange with everything. And so like, I like to use crystals to help me connect, but it also like, say I take this troll light tower and I, um, charge it or program Mm -hmm. it to have a deeper connection to my, let's just, I'm going to throw this out here. I was going to say, yes, my guardian angels. Well, I'm now using the crystal energy and charging it with my intention, which is the power. Mm -hmm. And now that's being amplified going out into the ethers, out into Mm -hmm. the universe. And so to me, I feel like the angels and the entities rejoice because they're like, oh, she's putting in the effort. Yeah. Yeah. You know, let's go. You know, we're being called. It's being amplified. Right. Yeah. So they're getting the ping, they're getting the sign, and then they're going to come to you with whatever it may be for you, however it shows up for you. But it's almost like they rejoice in like how much effort you're putting into making that relationship deeper and that bond deeper. Because again, it's a fair energetic ex- exchange. You showed up and for them. They're going to show you, up for you. And don't you feel like I know, you know, connecting with, you know, your angels source that, that, that higher vibration, right? Yeah. Uh, Also it's easier. It is easier when you yourself are vibrating at a higher vibrational energy. So by using these, this is one of uh, Dana's, (laughs) this is the most that's gorgeous thing. It is so special. Um, One, uh, someone gifted this to me and It is so near and dear to my heart. Um, I use it on almost all my lives. And I always say this energy is the essence I feel of Reiki, of what I see. It's almost like prisms of light. And and so when you use crystals, you then, right, because we might be vibrating like down here, but then when we place this on us, then our, our energy, our vibrational energy starts you know, vibrating at it. and, and being yeah. projected. So it makes it easier. But yes. like, look, this right here is pure magic. Yeah. I mean, it is the if most. That is not, if that is not like oh. angelic consciousness in a crystal. It is. Oh, <laughs> I, it's like to me. And, and, and I also like, um, yeah, it's so powerful and beautiful. And that well, is called. What is it? Your, yours that you have is what angel is aura amethyst. Angel. Or, I mean, just, and you can just yeah. see, it. I just visualize that like, like light, just all of those colors. And that one is, this is quartz. This is angel or quartz. Okay. Yeah. So yours, your, the base of the base of your crystal is amethyst. The base of mine is clear quartz. Okay. So yeah. this is angel amethyst no angel aura aura amethyst every time i'm on i'm like aura angel (laughs) amethyst aura what is it yes (laughs) angel aura amethyst and i want to touch on what you do because you talk about the vibrations so like when you're vibrating at a higher frequency you are more open to receiving. You're more open to connect. You're always connected. Let's just, let's just put that out there. You're always yeah. connected. So whether you're aware of it or not. Now, if you are vibrating at a higher level, you're going to feel it more. You're going to be mm-hmm. aware of it more. Your healing sessions, your Reiki, mm-hmm. all the different modalities you use naturally raise my vibration mm-hmm. 100%. And I think that is part of the beauty of Reiki and your Jinshin Jitsu and what mm-hmm. you do because after a session, like a different person, baby, I'm vibrating at a different <laughs> level. And, and honestly, 
Like it's so much easier to receive messages. It's, I saw freaking angel, you yeah. know, because I was vibrating at that level. So the more that we continue to vibrate at that level, the more we're going to continue to feel that connection, get downloads, channel, have psychic medium, you know, all the things, right? Yeah. So I, 100%. I, I, yeah. And I, and I, I think that's what, 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 what you do, what you do to assist that. Seriously. Thank you. And, and, and it was, you know, as a little girl, I was always very connected to angels yeah. and all of that. But, um, you know, and then I got older and, and I always still was, but with the energy, it, it does it, um, from, from my own self practice, it really just helps me. I always say when I do a session, when I'm working and I'm feeling that energy, mm. It feels like I'm going home because it mm. feels like I'm not alone. Like I get emotional about it because it is this um, unconditional love that I feel that. And it's so beautiful because when I'm working on people, I get so I get like emotional about it because it is. It's so beautiful. But it yeah. is. It, you feel that just like what we talked about, their pure essence. But um, well, yeah. you are going home. That is your essence. Like your natural yeah. essence is to be unconditional love. Yes. But being a human, we are here to experience all the emotions. We chose to come here and experience all these emotions. So we're not naturally always vibrating at that level. Well, I don't think we're meant to. So no, we can't keep, I mean, and it's not okay. saying like, I'm always like oh, walking around. I mean, I have my days where I'm like, oh my God, you know what I mean? And of it's course. Like, oh. we but all then do. it's like, all right, I got to like readjust. What can I yeah. do here to like help? You know, so yeah, um, you're like, you're like a reset for me. Like you bring me back uh, to where I need to be. And I want to, yeah. I want to let you know, Molly, Brittany said, I feel so much better after her TikTok lives. I can only imagine what in-person feels like. I can tell you that her in-person sessions are life-changing and then Julia5555 said, I do too. I love an in-person with her. How Aww. sweet. <laughs> um, how do you work through it when you're not vibrating? When you're not, when you're not, so are you asking like how, like, yeah, if you're having a really down day. Well, and I think that's where crystals can, can, yeah. can assist. So uh, first and foremost, honor. Yeah, that you ain't feeling it today. Yeah, and it's okay. Yeah, it that is, exactly. it is like it's like I am done, and you know what? It's okay, and I'm gonna yeah. lay in my bed and eat Nutella and turn on exactly. Netflix and whatever. And, and listen, it's okay to not be okay. Yes. We are here to have a human existence. We are not here to vibrate at a connected level. Well, I'm sorry, we're always connected. We are not here to vibrate at a super high level all the time. If we were, we'd be in spirit form. OK, we would yeah. not be here, period. So first thing is just being aware that you're not feeling OK and honoring that and just saying, OK, I don't feel good. What I would recommend doing is not trying to get out of that. Mm -hmm. Just stay in that for a little bit and ask it what it needs. Do Love I need that. to rest? Mm -hmm. Do I need to eat? Do I need to go meditate? Whatever it is for you and, and honor that feeling. Then when you feel on the other side of that, then you think about. How do I raise my vibration? So there's a lot of ways to do that. Going out to Mother Earth and walking on Mother Earth and being in nature will naturally raise your vibration. That's, well, that's, yes. that's what crystals are. Mm -hmm. They're from the freaking Earth, right? So they're vibrating with yes. Mother Earth energy. So I, just me personally, I do prefer to work with crystals to raise my vibration. If it is... Mm -hmm. uh, I like all of these, actually, because these are very high vibrational crystals. Selenite and clear quartz. Bam. Take a selenite bath. Wave your selenite over yeah. your body with the yes. intention of releasing I what like no it. longer serves. Look at us. Look at us, selenite sisters. Yeah, I, I like I like placing it. And, and, and um, you know, someone just, and I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, yeah flower power that her sister passed away yesterday. And, and I want to oh, say so something with that, funny. with grief and sadness, mm. we, it's so hard to feel that it's, it, honor it. It, it, it is. And it's mm. hard to sit with it. And, you know, um, but when you, when you're ready and when you can to, like you said, to honor it and, and to feel it and to yeah. allow it to move through you, because I yeah. think, we want, we, we want to just push it away. We don't want to deal like, with it. Yeah, we want it to be gone immediately instead of honoring it. And mm -hmm. you know what? We always use that cheesy saying, you got to feel it to heal it. You do. Yeah. 
You have yeah. to feel it. You have to move through that pain. You have to move through that emotion in order to start for the healing to begin. And yeah. I always tell people when you're ready, when you feel mm -hmm. ready, then you can start incorporating in things like this to, to yeah. help. And, and it's in, and, and grief and sadness and all of that. And what we go through, it's, it's your journey. And, and, and yeah. And everyone's never is saying, different. Oh, you should get over this or that. Or it's, it's like grief can last. I love the saying it's like grief and sadness is almost, it's like glitter. You know, if you've ever done an art project, or if you've mm -hmm. ever done anything and you use glitter and then you're walking around, you have a glitter spot here, you have a glitter, you know, for everywhere. It's all, it's almost like the house can be clean and clear, but there you might can, be a glitter, yes. you know, like yes. in the corner and, and it might show up and it's like yeah. one day you're like, yay. And then something, and it, it is, it's honoring it. Um, and I think that crystals and like energy work, they help us. We want, we don't want to be, we don't want to hold on to it, but we, sometimes we just don't know how mm -hmm. to let it go. And so like the energy work allows shifts, shifts and moves the energy just like crystals yep. do in a way and yeah. it's little little small steps yes it's not going to be wiped away all at once working yeah. with crystals or doing energy healing it might take multiple times multiple yeah. sessions it is a practice and i i want to send all my love to her i'm so yeah. sorry for your hurt right now i'm so so sorry and i'm holding you so close yeah you're not yeah. alone yeah no. Um, yeah. Does anyone well, have any questions? Well, and I wanted to say for, um, for, for grief and loss to, um, the Apache tier, would you yeah. also, uh, Rose Quartz? Yeah. Um, we actually just, um, did a podcast and YouTube episode with Brittany Derenbacher on grief. And oh, yes, yes. Yeah. So that might be whenever she feels ready. Yeah. Something good to dive into. Um, Brittany is a grief counselor and therapist and women's empowerment coach. And she drops a lot of knowledge on that episode. And then we also talk about crystals in that episode to help um, progress you and transition you out of your grief and, and just go through that healing phase. Yeah. But Apache Tears for sure, amethyst, rose quartz, um, and I always, I always love the master healer, clear quartz. Yeah, and that is, will you tell people for that, like, are people that are, you know, that want to watch, it's on YouTube. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's hard to, like, the handles, I always get, it's, I know, um, so we are on all major streaming platforms on Spotify, you know, Apple, all the podcast platforms. And then we're also on YouTube, which there is a link in our bio from mm -hmm. TikTok. Um, you can either put in the tag, our mother's crystals, mm -hmm. or you can type in the crystal lean network and you mm -hmm. will be able to find us. Yeah. Okay. But there's Perfect. also a link in our bio too, to get yeah. you there. But that, that would, might be something, a, a great, expander for her on her her grief journey mm -hmm. for sure yeah um and I, I will say like even you've, you've been talking a lot about Kyle Gray and yeah when I first started um gosh my journey my spiritual journey and angels and I yeah. uh it was like I just couldn't get enough information right. I used um angel oracle cards so yeah. if you're looking for just like and to yes. learn about them now oh I, my will God. Say, I, I cannot uh, believe okay so first of all, no joke, I was called, I have them right here to pull out my, I felt called to do a, a, a card pull for the community. Ooh, I love that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well then we'll do that. I'll, okay. The, um, the Kyle Gray ones and actually that, that, um, Dana's been talking a lot about and I love Kyle Gray. This is, um, this is angels and ancestor Oracle cards, but a lot of them, they're just very, um, uplifting, positive, beautiful yes. uh, messages. And and they really helped me when I was first kind of trying to connect. Now, this person is really, um, she's kind of gone away from this. But when I, when I first started my journey, um, uh, Doreen Virtue, she is all oh, yeah, about, yeah. She, and these are she really the great to get to know your angels. They, they talk about, you know, the different angels. So like, Archangel Michael, Raphael, yeah. uh, Gabriel, um, Haniel, Ariel. I mean, there's all. And um, 
yeah, they're really beautiful. So there's like this one that I have used. I mean, you can see this deck I was looking at. It well, maybe you can't. It is so warm. It's my Archangel Michael deck. Um, <laughs> that's the go-to deck. Oh, for and you party. need this one. This is Metatron. <laughs> oh, yeah. You need this deck. Yeah, this is. Um, so there's lots oh, out there. But I would say like the Oracle. Um, Angel Oracle cards, it, it, they're just neat. It helps you to get to know the different yeah. names, their energy, um, and just beautiful messages. Yeah. And it yeah. empowers you. It like, does. To connect. I always think of cards as a tool in your toolbox, and they yeah. are messengers. They mm -hmm. have energy. They have an essence. They, they were made to do this. Yeah. And you can also think about it as a way of your angel speaking to you you know, delivering you messages. If you have an archangel deck, I'm actually feeling, I, I brought out a deck, but I'm feeling called to this one. Um, this is the spirit animal Oracle. I don't know why I'm feeling animal. So I'm going to pull for the community. Give me just a second. I swear to gosh, Dana. Yeah. I'm listening. So I have been wishing <laughs> there is little tiny bits of snow. Like, I'm not kidding. You know, our weather here has been so crazy where it's been what? hot and I'm like, it's, it's dreary. It's still dreary, but it is, um, I'm looking out my window. It's spitting it here, uh, here where I am. Okay. It's, it's spitting, uh, snow. So I'm like, yes, it's not really supposed like to be snowing. So I just want to like, <laughs> confirm it's spitting and affirm. Snow. I feel like that is a little <laughs> <angel> <laughs> dust yeah. coming uh -huh. down on us today yeah. oh my god how beautiful the magic the magic of christmas yes. the magic of yeah all right i'm gonna pull for the community talk amongst okay. yourselves this is not based on religion uh, and someone just really fast dana did ask if this is based on religion and it's it's not angels have been around in all sorts of different even yeah. like ancient egypt and you think of like the different you know like the pyramids the different there's it's yeah, it's it's more just a consciousness. Yeah, and, and an angel is just a label, okay, mm -hmm. for an energy. And I think that just in modern day society, Christianity, Catholicism, mm -hmm. biblical yeah. references, that's what most people think of when they think of an angel. It's much deeper than that, guys. Yeah. It goes way deeper than that. It, it is a, just a consciousness, a high yeah. vibration, and anyone can tap into it. You, it, it it's it's just there. It's 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 love. It's uh, it is pure, unconditional love and a reflection, basically, of your own true spirit back to you. Okay, what'd you get? <laughs> so real fast, Brittany said, "How did you get started with crystals?" My entire story, or like the Cliff Notes version of that, is on our first episode of the podcast or the YouTube. You can check it out. And then she also asked, is there a difference between angel cards and tarot cards? Yes and no. So yes, being that they are delivering different messages, delivering different energies. Mm -hmm. They are the same in the fact that they are both messengers. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So I feel like when, you know, going from tarot to Oracle, you just need to feel which one resonates with you, which one calls to you. For me, it's typically Oracle. Um, but I still work with tarot. So, I mean, it just, and I'm the same way for me. It's, um, it's just what I feel like that day. Yeah. And it's a, for me, it's a vibration thing. I don't know. I, I, I do the Oracle as well. Um, if I really need like a specific, I'll do tarot. Like if me I'm too. Really asking, but yeah. sometimes the tarot can be a little bit like, it's, it's great. They're messengers. I just, I'm drawn right. more. It's just like, it's just like anything. I'm drawn more it, to the yeah, energetically, I feel more connected to Oracle messages than I do tarot. Tarot's really in depth. Yes. Tarot takes a long time to master and it takes a long time to learn. I feel like if you're just starting out with card divination, go with Oracle. That's just me personally. Mm -hmm. um, but there's no harm or foul. I agree. Going into tarot it's right positive. away. You know, it's like. Exactly. And a lot of times they'll give you like an uplifting, like something to do, like have gratitude or something to work on. And yes. Yeah. um. We will, well, and I'm sure Dana, you will too, upload this. Yes. To YouTube. I will be, I'll, I'll upload it to YouTube. I'll be putting the entire <gasps> oh, oh, look, it looks like, wait, where's my crystal? It looks like this energy. It does. It, it does. does. What does it say? So this is dolphin spirit that is coming forward <gasps> for the community. And it says just on the card alone, this and that are true. So mm -hmm. let's dive into what that actually means. And it is card 20 if anyone is into numerology or numbers. 
20 is the number as well. So let's get into it. Dolphin spirit, like her earthly manifestation, is a reminder of duality. Um, as the dolphin is both mammal and sea creature, so too is dolphin spirit, both this and that. Mm -hmm. Two truths coexist. The story you tell and another one as well. The duality of life is present when we are suffering, for there is blessings too in the helpers that appear. Mm -hmm. Within clouds are silver linings. When we later reflect on what happened, we can see that a situation was both this and that, and a choice led to both joy and sorrow. No relationship is either all good or all bad. And people have qualities of both light and shadow. Mm -hmm. Focus on the positive. So Dolphin is here reminding us that everything has both that light and that dark. There's mm -hmm. duality in everything. But we are being asked to focus on the positive for light exists alongside the darkness. Dolphin spirit calls for you to come up from below and enjoy a weightless moment in the sun as you dive in and out of this and then that, accepting and even enjoying the duality of life. So Dolphin is reminding us that even though we have our dark nights of the soul, we have our darkest days, the light is actually existing at the mm -hmm. same time. Our focus is our superpower. So however we decide to focus and put our, what we put our focus on is what will happen in our life. And what we will experience more in our life. And let me continue on. Why, why not join Dolphin Spirit in acknowledging and affirming the blessings present in this moment? In all areas of your life, there are aspects of both, both this and that. Today, you can celebrate this fact and recognize the complexity and the beauty of the fabric of the universe. You are at a place right now where your past self is still present as you move towards the new self you are becoming. Aspects of both selves are present. So even if you want to say goodbye to what was, you are required to find solace in this between time. Today is not a day to choose over, um, excuse me, today is not a day to choose one over the other, but rather to accept things as they are without any judgment or resistance. Man, that's big. That's yeah. It's just a yeah. radical acceptance of what mm -hmm. is. Even in matters of the heart, duality is present. Your next action will be obvious when you drop your bias and see things as a whole. So Oof. with that, I like, and I, I, I this, and uh, when you were talking about no judgment, and I think this is like really important to like the energy. Um, also, like talking about the angelic energy and that unconditional love. It's like no matter how we are feeling, you know, in our good days and our bad days, or if we've had like just things that have happened in our life, or maybe experiences that have happened that maybe. Um, that our angelic beings were never judged and we are always accepted and loved oh my gosh. just as we are. Yes. And, that, it, it, and that is that love. It is like, no matter what, no matter how angry I've gotten or this or that, or if yeah. I really rate myself because I, you know, it, there's no judgment that they see us. Um, and I think that's really important. And the dolphin energy for me, when I saw that, and we were talking how, how to connect with your angels the best way. It's like that the, the dolphin represents that playfulness, yes. joy. They're just, they're free flowing. Yes. It is that energy. And, and think of their, when they think of the frequency, when they, the, when they have their sound, that sound yes. has a, a, a high vibrational energy frequency that, yeah, that resonates. It. Yeah. And it's that energy of, we can't hear it unless we mm -hmm. were using special devices to, to record. <laughs> yeah, it, right? and, and they say that like it is their language is something that is. Yeah. Um, and so I think of the crystals. I think of the sound. I think of yeah. the energy. You know. <laughs> and I also think that everything is existing all at one time. So while they're a mammal, but also a sea creature, you have essence of angelic energy in you, but they're also on the other realms too. Yeah. 
know it's hard to grasp. I know it's hard to wrap your brain around that. But we're literally, everything is existing all at once. It's just what we are aware of and it's what we put our focus on. And it, it's just being accepting that this is how it is radical acceptance of any situation. I think that that's a message too for the community is just radical acceptance of whatever you're going through right now. Just be accepting of it. You know, there will be a silver lining that is presented to you if you're open enough to receive that. And and yeah, flower power just said, so I just need to keep letting it go and keep moving forward. And, and with that at your own pace, give yourself oh, grace and time. Yes. And if, and just, yeah, but yeah, the more that we let go, the more that we are able to free up all of those emotions mm. or those feelings um, that are heavy, then the easier it is to allow room then to receive and um, yeah. yeah, but but I love that in the water energy, of course, yes. it's just, it's, they're just like magical creatures too. So oh, they you know, are They're Yeah. I always think of playfulness. I yeah, do. that's so. what, like joy, have fun, yeah. you know, jumping in the water. And, and is- oh my gosh, what better animal to think about to get in that high vibration? Yes. Fall upon dolphin energy to yes. assist you in raising your vibration, mm-hmm. right? Yes. When you're able to raise your vibration, you're now able to be more, um, feel more connected and to connect better and to call in angelic energy when you're vibrating high. So yeah, yeah. that makes sense. I love that. And I love all the colors too. The, yes, it was perfect. Yeah. Thank uh, you, Dolphin. Uh, one, uh, I wanted this. I actually, I think this one, this is the, oh, um, spirit this quartz. is called spirit quartz. Yes. That I got from. Yes. And, and and I don't know if you can see that, tip, I can't. but it has like the amethyst and citrine, right? Yes. Yes. And I feel like once again, this is like, ooh, it has just that like. I mean, playful, come on, hot, right? It does. Like the name alone, spirit quartz. Yeah. Um, super high vibrational helps you to connect to spirit, but the feel and the look of it alone makes you think angelic. Yes. It like. Makes- think Ser- Sarah film it makes yes. you think celestial yes right? it makes you think of the other worlds that's another great one yes I love like and it it it, it feels like playful and light yes. and and um childlike and uh, I, I don't know that that's the energy that I that, agree. that I feel um and I wanted to ask you because I yeah. don't know a lot about but I picked this because I kind of ones that I felt um few is it fuchsia? Oh, yes. Green fuchsia. Um, yes. And it has, I don't know if you guys can see this, has but it, 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 it sparkles. It, it yes, has it, like this. It has a natural luster or what would be called a chatoyancy, um, if you want to get real technical about it. But yes, I mean, I like, think that's another great one to, to call upon angels to get connected to spirit, yeah. the other realms, the ethereal Right. Yeah. So it, 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 it's all about too, don't you feel like opening being heart. able like having an open heart, heart. opening up that heart. Um yes. to, to, to really be able to receive. Yeah, to be able to receive. Yeah. Um and, and to bring and lifting the vibration in your home too, like crystals, totally. um, totally. sounds like look at here, I brought different. Let's see if this one can you hear this one? Yes, I love it. Can you hear it or no? Yes. I love that. I love wind chimes. And um, yes. I think too, like, one, and you already uh, said this, but if you connecting with the angelic realm, um, going out in nature, mm. asking them to mm-hmm. come in and to be around you and watching, listen, listening, watching the leaves and hearing the, the wind, you know, it's like, rustle the, the 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 leaves and the trees are hearing the wind chime you know we can't see the wind but we can it's it's movement it's there um the birds that i i you know butterflies um dragonflies all of these different yeah. funny animals will show up you know it's it, it yeah. is you just have to believe it it, it is there it's yeah. the and it's like you also just have to be aware because it's not like birds have never been around you your entire life they've always yeah. been here but how aware are you when they are showing up how yeah. they are showing up you know what I'm saying? Like, or like, okay, let's say I go out and I am like, I'm, I've put it in my mind. I put it out in the universe. I'm going to connect. Yeah. I want to 
be a sign. And then by golly, a bird comes and starts singing as loud yeah. as I've ever heard it ever sing before in my mm -hmm. face. Mm -hmm. And it's not scared of me. Yeah. You know, that is a sign, but I have to be, have that open heart. I have to be open enough to receive the message and I have to be aware of it. I could just go on and be like, Psh, that didn't yeah. mean nothing. Yeah. But, and then to say, thank you. And it's like, yes. Oh, like I get excited yes. where it's like, thank you so much. I yes. see this. I, I hear you. I see you, please. Yes. Thank you more, please. Oh like I want more of that in my yes, life. Yes, More please. And, and I'm, I'm recognizing you. I hear you. I see you, please. Like you, you just, um, yeah, it can be very subtle. You just have to, you have to be open. Someone asked, do you have to be barefoot in order to ground outside? I mean, no, like you can go, if you can't, obviously right now, I'm it's, not walking around barefoot. It's freezing. Right. right. It's best if you can. Right. It's best if you don't have a leather. I'm sorry. It is best if you don't have rubber. a rubber sole on right. your shoe because rubber is not a conductor of energy. Right. So, um, like, for instance, my mentor walks around in leather moccasins mm -hmm. all the time. So... Mm -hmm think about that. But is it ne a necessity? No, you're still going to get mother earth energy within your being. If you just go outside. Now I will say that it is best to like, maybe go sit mm -hmm. on the ground. So like, we don't want to be barefoot right now. It's freezing outside. Right. But if you can just go sit, sit on mother earth, even through your clothing, mm -hmm. you know, you're going to get grounding mother earth energy. You're going to get that mm -hmm. natural ions from the earth. Or even like going out and putting your hands, like a lot of times I'm, I yes. love um, tree energy yes. um, and, 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 and I, and I just visualize I'll you know, quickly, it's like even oh. touching and, you know, and, and sometimes I'm on my walk. I, I honestly like to hug trees and sometimes I'm in my face I do I'm too, looking honey. around and I'm like, is anyone going to see me where they're going to think I'm a complete? And then I'm like, oh. I know, I know. no <laughs> shame in my game. Yeah. I, get um, it. I have a tree in the backyard and I just go and love on her. Yeah. And, 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 or just putting your hand and just asking, yeah. it's like, you know, for that grounding energy, imagine her just taking your energy down to her roots, really rooting you down and just, just, mm -hmm. and then telling her, thank you. Like, thank you so much for your beautiful energy. Yeah. It's, it, it's an exchange, but even touch and, yeah. and crystals, crystals ground. I mean, yeah, like that's what crystals. I was going to say. Yeah. Like you don't like some people live in high rise apartments and they just can't go out to nature yes. all the time. So what do you do? You bring nature into you it can be in the form of crystals. It can be in the form of house plants. You know, you can grab onto the, this is earth energy. This came from the earth. So you are getting mother earth energy in your crystals. You can also just do a vis visualization, you know, of getting in that meditative state and then roots coming from your spine down yes. into the earth and you're, you're yes. being rooted just like a tree is with mother earth energy. And that helps me sometimes yes. to get grounded. Another you know, I, thing, I, um, I think flower was it, let's see. Yeah. Flower power said, and I do, this is something that I do when I, so I'm a fire sign and I'm yeah. very sun, um, energy. It's really, yes. it's, 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 um, and she said, um, you know, just embracing that sun. And I will say, now you have to be careful, but I have in certain places in my home where the light, the sunlight first comes in mm. and it pours in. And it's almost like I, I will, it's like kind of sun, you know, you don't want to stare at the sun, but sun gazing, like yeah, I'm asking that yes. energy to fill you, to clear you with yeah. that high vibration. It's almost like breathing it in. And to me, it sounds strange but it's almost no, like the reflection of it has light codes or an energetic where i'm asking so, like whatever yeah to fill that solar plexus and that energy back up yeah i just want to thank you for sharing that because it's like total affirmation and confirmation for me that i myself i'm an air sign mm -hmm. so um i tend to stay up in the airy spots the clouds you know the mm -hmm. ethereal realms and I connect more deeply with grandfather's son. Mm -hmm. So the son is a little bit more energizing and clearing for me than mother earth is. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds ridiculous, but mm -hmm. truly that's where I get a lot of my energy and a lot of my clearing is from grandfather's son. So mm -hmm. I can completely resonate with you on that. Yeah. And, you know, you don't have to just ground with mother earth. There are other things. Water. Yeah, and water, water elements, yeah, other things you can use. Yes. 
and, yeah. and you can water is is not only you know clearing and cleansing it is it does have a grounding effect you know sitting in a totally. salt bath um totally. if there's a creek with rocks and running water and you're able to like stand obviously you know if you're in a warm place stand in that oh man you got yes. the rock, you got the earth you got the water you yes. got the, it's um yeah so um and i think you just find what resonates with you and what works for you you know for, yeah. especially for grounding purposes one yeah because and and then also um drumming <laughs> I know you love drumming, but drumming, or yes. like, we all know, like my crystal, my root chakra, you know, there's different things that I, that I use or that I do. Um, drumming is one of the ways that I truly feel connected to mother earth. I can mm -hmm. go walk out on mother earth all day and hug trees all day. And I do feel connected, but drumming is like one of the gifts that was giving to me and my shamanic practices that really it resonates with me. Like it isn't, it's soul food to me. Mm -hmm. And it truly, it does. It makes me feel so grounded and connected to mother earth. I'm, I'm yeah. glad you mentioned that. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any other questions? Yeah. Do you guys have any other any questions, questions guys? Let us know. Um, yeah. And you didn't mention, I love rose quartz also like yes. for heart. Um, yes. Um, and thank you guys for all the likes all the the things we really appreciate it. it means the world to us I'm trying to think if i brought anything else out to show that i'd love to use. there is one crystal i did not bring out because i gifted my last one i have uh, out of my personal collection um it's called seraphonite um it's named after the sarah film realms that Ooh, they yeah um, it's a green chatoyant crystal um it comes out of russia it is on the rarer side um i don't have one to show you right now and i have none in stock i sell out of it every time what I is it called what is it called it's called seraphonite it's s-e-r yeah like seraphim yep a-p-h and then i-n-i-t-e seraphonite what color is it green it's, oh, it's a God, deep, dark it. forest green. It's chatoyant. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful crystal. I just unfortunately don't have one um, to show you guys, but that is another one I really like for connection. Well, and yes, I love nice. these malachite yes. and then um, um, chrysocolla. Like, yes, I, I love any. Oh, gosh. And this one. Talk about like dolphin energy. This chrysocolla. Oh, my God. The chrysocolla. Yeah. That. Mm. And the throat chakra, what you were yep. talking about, communication, truth, connecting your, your third eye. Oh, um, communication, like when connecting using crystals and other realms, I always think of the throat chakra because even though we're not, we may not be physically using our voice, we are still wanting to communicate. And we definitely want to have the throat chakra involved when doing that. And then the third eye and the crown as well. So you'll see a lot of blues and whites. Yeah. Well, I'm going to show if someone says, where's the best place to get it done? I'll show you mine really fast. I'll, oh. I'll, I'll play it. Um, yeah. And then. Um, I have a Remo drum, R-E-M-O. It is made of synthetic buffalo skin. Um, you have the same as me? Yeah. That's what mine is. So. Yeah. Except mine's not black. It's, you know, the natural color. But yeah, same drum. Yeah. And I like Remo, so I'll let you I hear it. See if you can hear the sound. I'm going to do it this way. Let's see if you can. Does it come through? Yep. It has a very, and I like to put it just, I mean, it when you have it like this, oh, and it, it, it has on the body, like if you want to drum and let that reverb on your body, talk about some healing sensations. Ooh. Yes. And what you said, I love the Remo or the synthetic because um, yeah. like if you were to go outside or heat or cold, if you had an actual real type hide, it will, right. the tone will shift and change due yes. to the um, temperature or, right. and, and then plus I'm vegetarian and, you know, I mean, yeah. I know, but right. anyways, but right. so, but it's just, um, yeah. So, you, but you can get these actually on Amazon. I got yeah. mine on Amazon. I can't remember um, exactly where I bought mine from, but it was just like online somewhere. And yeah. the one that, you know, just felt good to me. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, anything else like, oh, 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 hold on. Yeah, come oh, on, yeah, show I, us, girl. I, I, new, hold on. Show I'm us. so excited. <laughs> so, um, oh gosh, I got so excited. I started oh, taking this fun. thing. 
fun. Oh, it's called Remo. Remo is the brown buffalo drum. Um, and I got mine on Amazon. I actually have the uh, link for it on my Amazon storefront. If Oh, there you go. Okay, so this, so you all know um, I do my crystal singing bowls. So this is a, so this is a, another type of singing. Obviously, it's a triangle, yeah. like how you said. Do you have one of these? Because I don't you, have one of these. Um, and oh, I just what got can, ringing. I'm getting, oh my gosh. Okay, thank you. Ringing. Yeah, in. you can spin it too. So like they, the sound lasts a lot longer. And then like if I yes. was playing, I could take it and spin it. And then the energy yeah. Um, but I'm going to, I'll hold it and let you guys, I don't know how it's going to come across here. Um, oh, oh my God. I love this smallie. Anyways, and it'll last, and then you can spin it. And when you go over the crown or the heart, it's oh, like okay. that energy. You can, and they have different sizes. Um, oh, I love it! I can like I, you can feel the reverberation when it's yeah. spiraling. Like th you can feel it just this way. Um, I want that during my next session, please. Yeah. <laughs> but any, like, you know, there's just so, I just think it's like being in that energy, that vibration, anything, just bringing that energy in. And even listening to like beautiful music just on That's something else YouTube. I love to do is um, like just listening to binaural, I always say this wrong. Me too. Bina binaural beats. Yeah. I say like binary, and I don't think that's right. A binaural, binaural beats. beats. I don't even think that's right. <laughs> I, I can never pronounce it right. So please yeah. excuse me. But that is also like a huge vibe raiser for me. And it's also very clearing to me, depending on what frequency, you yeah. know, I'm listening to. But I'm a huge believer in that type of medicine and healing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you want me to just name all this? And then people, I mean, this would be something totally different. And there's so many. But uh, do you all want me to name a few like archangels or anything like that that you can yeah. look up yeah. Or, um, cause I'm, I, I could, that would have to be a whole nother thing. Like if we went into like, yeah. Ethics. Um, but like Archangel Michael for protection, right. um, 100% his shield, his sword. One of the crystals I, I like to use for Michael, like that is, is, um, that makes the sense. Pyrite. Uh, cause I feel like the shield and then he also kind of watches out uh, for like Leo's that fire energy. He has right. a lot of that like protective, but he has the blue, like um, blue energy, blue essence um, is kind of his, his color. Um, Raphael, Archangel Raphael is the healing angel. So if you are in need of healing, if you are a healer, if you are a nurse, if you work in that industry, um, anything, any, but when you need healing, uh, Raphael and his color is green. Um, Gabriel, I, I like to um, call on Gabriel. Um, Gabriel is the messenger, right? So, you know, asking for clear, accurate um, messages. Um, also with communication. So great angel for writers, for artists, for um, anyone that does a lot of speaking, writing. It's that communication, um, that communication piece. Um, but I do say that I'll say, please, Archangel Michael flow through or Archangel Gabriel uh, flow through me so that I receive clear, accurate and precise messages for those around me. But you can ask that for clarity. Ask, ask, uh, Archangel Gabriel to come in. Um, uh, uh, one of my other favorites is um, Uriel, um, Archangel Uriel, and he is like the light, is the light of God. And I, I imagine just this beautiful golden energy. Yeah. Um, but, and, and when I say him, her, whatever, there's really none of that. It's just yeah. the energy feels more masculine. Masculine, right. Um, um, but I, I feel like that, uh, he, he really helps to help you move you along your path, um, helps you to move forward. Thank you for um, doing this. I'm learning. Yeah. Um, and then some more of the feminine. Um, once again, 
it's not necessary. It's, it's yeah. how, it's how I feel them. So they may yeah. feel different to you, but, um, Archangel, um, Ariel is beautiful to me. She is like the feminine of Michael. She is like the peaceful warrior. She is the angel that watches over nature animals. Um, so if you are one of those who loves nature, animals, children, she is the protector. She really flourishes in those areas. So if you want to connect with Ariel going out in nature, um, and, and like I said, she has like this divine, it's almost like the feminine side of Michael. That's how I would. And she I is like called her. the lioness of God. So I always oh, see I like her, her a lot with the, with the lion. Yeah. Lion, fire, energy, good for Leo's, um, and then um, let's see who else. Um, Jophiel is um, the angel of beauty. So if you want to bring beauty into your home, um, help you to see beauty in life, Jophiel is um, great to call in. Uh, Haniel um, is, she's associated with the moon energy, the water, mm -hmm. divine feminine um, your intuition, yeah. um, helping mothers, helping, yeah, so. There's a okay. lot, there's, there's a lot, but yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that because yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Me and Ariel are going to be like this. Yeah. Soon. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the one that's speaking to me right now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Thank you, Molly. You're welcome. Do you guys have any other questions? Or anything you want to ask? Anything about crystals? Anything yeah. about... Oh, someone asked about card decks. Um, like, is, I don't... Like, for favorite card decks or angel so, ones, um, any of I, these... Do I you have, have favorite ones? I mean, not particularly particularly angel-based, but I do have my favorites. You okay, know, do you want to share yours? And then I'll share some of mine. Um, so my all-time favorite, the one that never, ever lets me down, is the Mystical Shaman Oracle mm -hmm. by Colette Baron reed Mm -hmm. Paulette Baron Reed is amazing, amazing. Like so, like anything she makes, I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. but this is the one that like I truly connect with, and it's like the messages are always spot on. So mm -hmm. that one, and then I love working with spirit animals. So actually, the one I just um, pulled from another that, one. And I'm gonna have to get that one. What is that one called? And it is that... called the Spirit Animal Oracle by Paulette Baron Reed again. The Spirit Animal. Uh-huh. So those are my two favorite oracles. And then I have some for tarot that I love. But yeah. I, they're, they're like kind of put away over here. So, but I, I, I love card divination. Yeah. Well, I did one of my favorite. This is not um, angelic. Well, it's, it's more kind of, it's that magical, fairy, childlike. Yes. Um, yes. It is called the sacred forest. I love it. Oh my God. It speaks yeah. to me so heavily. It's it beautiful, beautiful images. Um, yeah. just, it's that high vibration. Um, yeah. I, I do love Kyle, um, Kyle Gray's um, deck and that is um, angels and ancestors. And he does have one. Um, I believe that is just um, angels. I don't have. He does. His, yeah. Is it art? Uh, yeah. And I don't I have that. Does. I, I've asked for both of those decks for Christmas, FYI, um, because I saw them. I just happened. Like, the last time I saw Molly, I, I looked out. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I felt really drawn to them. Yeah. So, I take a picture, and I'm like, Dougie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Dougie. <laughs> um, and if you're wanting to learn about angels, so these are by, and I don't know if you can find them, because, like I said, she's kind of stepped out of, like, the oh, uh, yeah, spiritual yeah. Yeah, but they are really good as far as learning about angels. This one is Messages from Your Angels uh, by Doreen Virtue. And this one is Archangel Oracle Card. So this would be a really good one just, just starting out, learning the names, learning about them. Um, and they're beautiful messages. They're just, um, they're... So it's funny, I've... It's like I've started to like really conjure a relationship with angels now. And it was mm -hmm. all because of you. Like I told you, it's like I knew they existed and I knew that they were there and I had a little bit of knowledge mm -hmm. and connection with them. But, you know, your gift, one of your major gifts to me has been um, showing me that relationship that I can have with mm -hmm. the angels. So 
um, this is, I'm definitely going to get those to further my yeah. education. It, it, and, it, and, and they're great because you do, you get to understand kind of like what they can help you with. And, yeah. and, and, and if you do it daily, you might pull the same card where you're, you're retaining that information. Correct. Too. Yes. Um, and it, and it does, it helps you to connect with them and, and they know that, Hey, yeah, I'm here. I, I she wants to, you know, yeah. play, she wants to be there. So yeah, definitely. Thank you, Molly. You're welcome. All right. Well, if you guys, do you have anything else that you want to share? I think I've shared everything. I, I feel like I have else? too. Um, I've shared all my favorite crystals in the, yeah. in the industry standards for contacting your angels. Of course, if anyone has any questions, I'll be happy to answer them crystal related. Um, but this has been really fun and enjoyable for me. I've learned a lot. Yeah. Let's see. Question. Can you read yourself? Can you read for yourself? What is yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I pull all the time. You know, oh my the morning, God. I, like, if there's anything that, you know, I need to know or yeah, all I the time. Pull, I do a card pull every day, mm -hmm. almost every day. Yeah. 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 And sometimes it's funny because sometimes I like these card decks, what? Like this one has 52 cards in it. And you know what? Sometimes I will pull the same card. Over and, and I'm like, okay, there are some like really, and it's like, yes, I received this message. Listen, I'm not doing. I, you know, and sometimes I'm like, no, I'll I put it back in, so... shuffle it, and I'm like, oh, yes, so, you know. So. Yes, and I literally, I get so excited when that happens because it's like, oh, okay, this mm -hmm. is the message. This is what I'm supposed to be seeing and <laughs> hearing right now. Okay. Yeah. Message received. Thank you. Right. I love it when that happens. Yeah. I have a fun story with cards. Um, my mentor who I go, you know, see sessions with, she pulls a card every time. And I went to four sessions. They were, they were weekly at this point. And for those four sessions in a row weekly mm -hmm. pulled the same exact card every time for me. After reshuffling, reshuffling, you know, she had mm -hmm. seen other people between, you know, me and um, yeah. it was just like cards, they will yell at you and they will scream at you until you get the message. Yeah. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yes. And, you know, and, and I always think it's good, like reading what it has to say. And then if when you look at it, you know, your own interpretation. Yeah. Yes. Like, let, let's see. I'll just like pull yeah. one and we'll just like look at the picture. And what does it represent? What does it mean to you? What are the images? Hundreds. What colors? What um, numbers, yeah. colors, feelings? Yeah. Um, I always say like, yes, you can read the book and see what their interpretation is and what their message is for pulling that card. But it is always the feeling what are you feeling with it? Yeah. You know, and I love, so the one that I pulled is moonlight enchantment magic. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that mm -hmm. is, you know, it is, it's that like the spirit of Christmas, the it's, it, you have to come from that space, that childlike space of, of believing, of knowing 100%. that it is and connecting in with that. Um, mm. And uh, anyways, and I, and again, so the wolf to me, it is an expression of your voice. It is, it is um, that throat chakra again. Yes. Um, you know, the moon energy, it's just, it has it a lot is. of that divine feminine. The, and yeah. also talking, you know, talking yeah. to your moon, talking to grandmother moon, talking to the other realms, start creating that relationship. Start yeah. talking. And I, and I think like connecting with nature, knowing once again, that we all are mm, connected. Yes. me, you, the trees, the earth, the, we're and, not separate. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and when we go out in nature and when we connect with that energy, with the animals, with the trees, with each other, that it does help us to raise that, yes. that vibrational level. Yeah. yeah. So, Yeah. Cool. And it's like always just being aware that everything is communicating with us. It's just, you know, whether we are aware and open to it. Like my, I, I'll never forget this. My mentor taught me like, she's like, okay, go up to a bush, a tree, a flower, and just be aware that it's aware of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There, there's a spirit in everything. Yeah. In the trees, like, in the crystals, yeah. in, in the earth, in the flowers, it, everything. Like, you know? This tower is aware that I'm here right now. 
Yeah. Like, I mean, how cool is that? Like that is yeah. a bond already created. It's it, mm -hmm. that simple notion, that simple saying made me so aware of how everything does have a spirit and we are connected and that we are always communicating with each other. We just have to be aware of it. Right. Right. And be open and be yeah. open to see the signs and, yeah. and your signs will be different, you know, from others, whether right. it's a feather, a, a right. bird, a rainbow, a, a song, um, yeah. chills, um, a dream. I mean, right. there's just, there's just so many, but yeah, ask, it's like that thing, ask and you shall, you shall receive, ask and, ask and you shall receive. And so just ask, say, Hey, I need help. Just come in. And, uh, yeah. Um, and then I, here's one from, uh, so this is Zadikiel. Um, keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. So this oh beautiful God. energy, so I think it is, it's, it's, it's all about learning and connecting, you know, with, with your angels, learning about them, getting to know them, getting to know their energy and allowing them to help you along your spiritual journey and growth. And mm, um, I love that. Yeah. So thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us. Yes. Thank you all. Thank like you. seriously, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to connect with us in this, you know, vessel that is a TikTok live. Thank you all for being open-minded with us. And, you know, just thank you for your time and your energy. It means a lot. And I'm probably not going to say this right. And my eyes are so bad. Is it, is it Devika Devika says it's one of the best lives I have ever watched. Thank you both so much. Uh, Flower Power said, thank you for everything. Um, healing with, gosh, see, sorry, guys. I think it's Borka. Thank you, lovely ladies. Aren't you all uh, sweet? Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I feel so blessed and I feel... Aww. I really feel honored to just like be here and for Molly to invite me on once a month to do this with her. I feel really honored and blessed to be a part of it. Truly. Aww. And I'm someone here. just said, I was here 10 minutes and love you girls already. Well, thank oh, you for being here. And so sweet. yeah. And um, do you guys have any suggestions or what, oh. what do you like? You know, what is we've done now? How many have we done, Dana? Is this our third? No, I think we've done more, right? Or no, no. Was this our third? Oh, we had the Q&A. We had the abundance and prosperity. And now we're doing this one. So this is our third. Okay, gosh. It feels like we've done more, doesn't it? I know. It, well, it feels like we've known each other forever. Yeah. Um, so if you guys have suggestions on things you'd like for us to talk on that include like crystals, Reiki, whatever it may be, like we, we're going to do these once a month for you all. Yeah, what do you like? What 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 yeah. do you all sound? Aww. Flower Power said soul sisters. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we I, are. We I, are soul sisters. We we just like totally. like and how she feels, I think I feel and then and it's interesting. Yeah. It's almost like yin and yang. She has more of that, just like, man, she's on it. She's precise <laughs> like she's got it. And I'm more like <laughs> like whatever <laughs> well i think we balance right? we do it's we like balance each other we do yeah. yeah but do you guys have um and anything? Brittany said thank you guys love these sessions she's so sweet thank you for being here Brittany. is anybody um oh i don't know if i have the angel oracle cards on there yet i can put up i do have kyle gray's and the forest my forest what was it this one the the sacred forest, but yeah, any suggestions or things that you want to learn more about or yeah. Like, do you want to learn about crystals and Reiki for the root chakra? Do you want us to do a whole chakra series? Do you want us to, um, maybe we could do a whole grief. Uh, like, a yeah, grief I mean, there's so episode. many, I guess, like you, you could do it's, different emotions, anger, grief. I mean, like it is. So but it's just, I, I'm, I really am interested to know what you all want to learn about. Like how they want, to, they want to know about crystals because yeah. So crystals. So I mean, more it's like do another crystal. Cube. Um, like we're just open. Let's see. This is not our first one. This is our third. And they are all, um, they're all on our YouTube. Present. They're all on YouTube. Yes. We did. Yeah. The Q and a um, manifestation. Yep. Now angels will upload that. I want to learn it all. <laughs> um, 
uh, let's see, Reiki. So, so more uh, Reiki. Um, Maybe um, we do one on Reiki and like you talk more in depth on Reiki and I can talk about how crystals can help to amplify, accentuate and progress people that use Reiki or, you know, and yeah. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just throwing things out there. Chakras. Someone said chakras. Chakras is always fun for me. That's like one of my things. Well, and I think that goes along with Reiki in the sense of when I'm doing a session, I'm working on all your chakras. Correct. So like, you know, so it is, it's, it's those energy centers. So that might be a nice one. I mean, that would flow very, okay. it would be a very Reiki and chakras. So Brittany said grounding. I need to work on grounding. Gosh. Um, yeah. So I mean, obviously, like maybe we do one on the root. Oh my God, it would be a great time to talk about it too, because we're in the winter months. We're in the, the slowest time of the year, like that we're in the north as far as the will of the year. Great time to be grounded, like to get grounded. So maybe. Yeah. Maybe okay. And this came in. So, all right. So our next one would be January, right? Yes. So maybe two. Well, like root two, I think about. Um, root and sacral, really, I think about um, removing, you know, the fear and all of that to help us move forward in the direction of where we want to go. Because like the right. new year, we, we might have new things that we want to start. So how do we do that? What 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 do we do to help get those energetic blocks out yeah. of the way to help us move forward? I don't know. <laughs> and I think like you have to sit still to move forward. Yeah, and you do like you have to have that root chakra under control. You have to feel mm -hmm. safe, like you have to feel safe and secure in where you're at in your life in order to make the decisions to move forward. Yeah, And I actually like Muakite came through for me as the crystal of the month for December. Mm -hmm. And um, that channeled message, like it kind of just coincides. It, it correlates to what we're talking about here that you've got to have that root chakra under control before you can make any decisions and move forward. So that, I mean, it just kind of makes sense. Yeah. Right? So we could do, uh, we could just talk about, start with the root really. I mean, yeah, we and then we're going to go up, um, yeah, just totally. go up, but start with the root that would cover grounding. That would help, you know, just talk about yeah, yeah that feeling safe, protected. Um, and then all the fun stuff of, you know, in our survival mode, money and our house, you know, all that like survival. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And like when the root chakra is off, this is what you'll be experiencing. You yeah. might be experiencing a lot of fear. You might mm -hmm. be experiencing a lot of anxiety and how that can correlate into what you're experiencing in your everyday life. Fear yeah. of not having enough money or, you know, all the things, all the things that come along with it. Yeah. I love yeah, that. and so um, YouTube's. So Dana, do you want to tell them your like the YouTube handle? So when they go to find you, and then I'll tell yeah. them mine. So I try to keep everything cohesive with our mm -hmm. business name, which is Our Mother's Crystals. So you can type in at Our Mother's Crystals, and you will come be brought to the Crystalline Network presented by Our Mother's Crystals. You can also do a search for the Crystalline Network. And it, we will come up that way as well. Yeah. And mine is kind it's the same thing. It's sunflower soul healing. Yeah. I think it's weird. They put my, they put a number behind mine. Um, now. Did they? Yeah. And I don't know. No, of course I can't remember the number. Cause I'm like, why is that? But it's, it's sunflower soul healing um, is, is my YouTube, but probably do you have it listed on your TikTok? Like to, if they want to go directly to your YouTube, do you yeah. have it where they can just click it and then it takes you there to. Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. So actually go to our bio um, I have our link tree there which takes yes. us takes you to all of our socials but you can also click on the little camera that looks like the Instagram button and then you can choose from Instagram or YouTube I and need to, I need to do that I have the Instagram on there but I don't have the YouTube but yeah you can connect your YouTube on that one too so like yeah. I've, I've tried to make it as simple as possible for all right. of these things to be connected it we is. had to choose OMC crystal shop for yeah. our, our handle on here I had our mother's crystals at one point and they took me off of TikTok. said I did something that was against community guidelines. Mm -hmm. So I could never use it again. Yeah. That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. So if you go to the bios, you can click to go there. And then I will say like, um, for, um, you, Dana, um, if, cause I get asked this 
all the time on my lives. Where do you get your crystals? Where where can I get crystals from? Where where do you get? And so I always talk about you, but well, with, you. with Dana, um, so like when I she does, and they're addictive. <laughs> she uh, <laughs> they do their live sales on um, Instagram, and it's really neat. Like they'll they'll show, you know, like a crystal. And then if you like it, now you're on with other people, you have to, they'll tell you, all right, this is the code. And it's like how much it is. And then the number, and then you put it in to um, claim it. Um, But um, so if you're interested in like crystals and purchasing them, um, they do their live. I don't know how many times do you do it? Well, right. And we're doing such huge events right now. They're like, three day marathon live events we're doing mm-hmm. them the month that's going to change here in the okay. future we do them like every other week oh but wow was, oh really so yeah, it's not you don't wait in between you just do like they'll be smaller in scale though because okay. they're yeah. only me yeah. and there's Doug that helps me yeah. with the packing and the shipping so you know it's a lot of work behind right. the scenes so right now we're doing really huge mega marathon sales um once a month on Instagram um, if you can't catch us there, I do have a website, ourmotherscrystals.com. However, only about 10% of our inventory is on there. We save about 90% just for the live shows. Um, I am actually getting ready to update the website here in the next couple of weeks while I have time to do so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you um, shouting us out in that way. And, and Yeah, like, yeah, because no. it's great. And they, sh- and they ship all over. So you can actually like <laughs> yeah. purchase them from... The comfort of your home while you're in your pajamas drinking yeah. coffee. At least that's what I'm yeah. doing. Yeah, ship worldwide. <laughs> like we have, we have clients all over the world. It's it's incredible yeah. how crystals have brought so many people into my life. Yeah. So, um, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, well, guys, we'll figure out our next date and we'll put a yeah. post on. And but, um, thank you all for joining us. And um, yeah, thank you for all the likes, the comments, the shares. All of that means so much to us. Yeah. All right. All right. Love you. Love you. Bye, guys. Thank you. See ya.